you're looking for a suspect, you're driving down these dark roads, you got that spotlight going, and it, it'll just beam through these backyards like that. Look at that. What is up, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And folks, in my opinion, this is a 100% must-have mod. Um, it has been updated since my last video, but it is the same. Uh, not much has changed with it, but my other video just kind of is buried somewhere away in the archives. And I thought about doing this video a couple days ago, and the funny thing is I just saw... Uh, Gamer Benny dropped uh, the video of the same mod um, So you might have already checked his out uh, If you don't know who Gamer Benny is He is linked down below Go check my boy out Show him some love um, And we're going to dive a little more into this mod By showing the um, The different uh, presets and stuff like that So Without further ado Let's get into this We're going to be installing The Spotlight Script mod Okay Go ahead and click that link down below that says Spotlight Mod, and that's going to bring you to this page right here. Big shout out to Alex Guire. Like I said, this is an absolute million percent must have mod. As you can see, this mod has 282,844 downloads. Huge, huge, huge mod, okay? Go ahead and click the download this file button. All right, and then agree and download. And it's a pretty simple, pretty light mod. It's not gonna give you any uh, performance loss, FPS drops or anything like that, okay? Go ahead and click that close purchase me. We can exit out of the WinRAR. And what we wanna do is bring up our main directory. So you're gonna bring up your main directory for Steam users. This is for Steam. You're gonna go to your disk drive that you have your game installed in. Program files times 86. Steam, Steam apps, and common. Now you're not gonna see anything in mine because I have mine in my D drive, but right here you might see your Grand Theft Auto folder. Just double click your Grand Theft Auto folder and hold tight. And I'm gonna go to mine, and here's all my files right here. So I'm gonna double click this one. All right, so this is the, what I like to call the GTA main directory front page. If your window's all tight like that, what are you doing with your life? Get that window, stretch that bad boy out. Okay, you want this little bit of buffer zone right here. Okay, guys and gals. All right, so this is the main directory front page. So your plugins folder, mods folder, ELS, everything is going to be right here. Your GTA EXEs are in here. All right, this is the front page. What you're going to do is you're going to double click your plugins folder right there. And you want to stay right here. Now, I already have this installed. Um, but... I will install it again so I can show you all the I and I and how to go in and uh, mess with the uh, with the presets and that. All right, so here's what we want to do. You want to take the Spotlight DLL, hold your control key in your WinRAR, select the Spotlight DLL, deselect this folder at the top, and select the Spotlight Resources folder. You just want these two files selected, okay? Make sure you are in your plugins folder, not your LSPDFR folder, your plugins folder, okay? You're simply gonna take these two files, left click them, drag them, drop them in. Now yours isn't gonna say this if you don't have it already. I'm gonna overwrite mine, just like that, and it's installed. Now we can exit out of the WinRAR, and let's go ahead and double click the Spotlight Resources folder. All right, now the offsets we're gonna do inside the game, so don't worry about that. Um, Go into general right here. Okay, you click general, and here is your INI. Now, the editor key, very important. Okay, you wanna know what your editor key is. I put mine on F1. Yes, I know that the F1 also starts the action replay, but it doesn't really make a difference in my game, so I just put it on there. Now, down here, in right here, where it says toggle I, uh, let me see here, let me see here, let me see here. Keyboard, settings for the keyboard controls, valid keys. Yes, this is what I do with this one. I click that, 
and I set mine to F9, just like that. All right, so I keep my editor key at F1. My toggle key is at F9. Now this is gonna be the key to turn your spotlight on, okay? And then we have the number pads, the four, the, the eight, the six, the two, and then the three is pretty cool, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, everything else, I pretty much keep the same. I just go to file, make sure you save it if you change anything, exit out, and we can exit out of our main directory. That's it. All right, y'all, so here we are on the desktop. Now, before we go into the game, what you wanna do is when you launch your Rage, you wanna hold your Shift key down, okay? Because this is a plugin, so we wanna make sure it is selected under our Plugins tab in our Rage settings. So select that, and you are now gonna see Spotlight. Yours might be unchecked. Go ahead and check it. Make sure they're all checked. You can just select Check All, and then Save and Launch, and that is it. I'll see y'all in the game. All right, everybody, so here we are in the game. And now that you're in the game, remember, I changed mine to F9, okay? So if I hit F9, I got two vehicles here because I want to show you uh, one that has a spotlight. One, I know this one here doesn't, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll pretend it does, right? Um, some vehicles come without spotlights. And if they do, depending on how you like to have your patrol realist, realistic, it's up to you if you want to install it or not right but this fpiu right here does have a spotlight so what we're going to do is we're going to hit our f9 key right and if you kind of scroll your way down where you can see where the light you know kind of you can see how the light is a little bit off from the spotlight there right so here's what you want to do you want to get to about like right here so you can see it Okay, then you want to hit, now I changed mine to F1. So if I hit F1, it's going to bring up this right here. This is going to be your spotlight editor. Now you can move this around so we can see the spotlight. We need to close this gap. So this spotlight needs to drop down and come back a little bit for it to be right on there. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to go to offsets, okay? And it already knows what vehicle you're in, so Sheriff 2, because it will save it for this particular vehicle. Now if we change this vehicle out for another one, it, 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 and it's a, a Tahoe, the spotlight's going to be different. You're going to have to come back in here and go through XYZ again, okay? But if you keep this, like if I keep this vehicle in here forever, I will never have to change this once I do it right now. All right, so XYZ is going to be left and right, or X is going to be left and right. Y is going to be inward and outward. And then Z is going to be up and down. So we're going to move it down a little bit. And then we can see here we need to move it to the left, like right there. All right? And then we can go in a little more like that. So now it looks like now it looks like we're, we closed that gap, right? So if I click Save and then I exit out, we can now see, look at that, that that spotlight is coming right off that the beam is coming right off the spotlight. You see that? So, that is all set. Now, let's get out of the car. Let's shoot over here to the Crown Vic. Now, again, we're just pretending that there's a spotlight on this car. Now, you can see how this one's real far away, right? So, let's close that gap again. You wanna bring, you wanna hit your editor button, whatever you have your set to. See, if you click the F1 real quick, it'll say fail to save clips. So you can hit that you can hit that f1 and it's good to go all right so we're going to go to offsets again sheriff see it knows what vehicle you are in all right and let's pretend that the spotlight's like right here so we need to go to the y and we need to bring it in bringing it down hitting down is going to bring it closer okay let's pretend it's like right there and we'll go down a little bit and then maybe over towards the uh the passenger side right and then you click save and you just exit out now if this did have a spotlight that's probably right where it would be okay so let's hit f9 let's shut this one off and let's get out of this car so that's how you change the offsets per vehicle now again if i replace this fpiu with a tahoe i'm gonna have to go in here and i'm gonna have to change it okay but for right now let's go ahead 
And now if you hit the four, it moves the spotlight right. The four on the number pad. Six, I'm sorry, moves it to the left. Six moves it to the right. Eight is up, two is down. All right, so let's bring this right here so we can now change the, the way the spotlight looks to your liking. So if we hit F1 again, we bring this up. Now, instead of hitting offsets, we want to stay right in the visual settings. Now, you can also do it for the boat and the helicopter. The helicopter one is pretty cool. Okay, this does work for the helicopter. All right, so we want to be under visual settings. Now, you do have outer angle, and if you move these up, it's going to make that spotlight bigger or smaller. Okay, I like to have mine like right at about 975. Um, inner angle is going to be, you can see, you know what, let me, uh, hold on one second, y'all. Let me go to about right here. There we go. Nope. Did not want to do that. I want to hit F1. There we go. All right. Now this is better. All right. So the inner angle is going to change the, the width of this, right? So I like to keep mine like right around a six. Then you have your intensity. All right, 30 is default. And if you go up, uh, yeah, it pretty much, it'll it just keep it at default. All right, if you go up too high and you put the spotlight on somebody, you're not gonna see their face. Um, range, uh, that is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, let me click save, right? Let me click save and you know what? I gotta bring that back up to a, yeah, right there. Let me click save. So now let's uh, let's go somewhere where we can check the range a little better. Like right here, right across the, okay. So there we go. And as you can see, there's a spotlight there, right? So F1 again, let's bring this up. Now we can do the range and see you see how the range, how that brightens up way out there now? I don't like the inner angle being... You know what? I think this outer angle is too big. Let me go to... Let's try 720. Uh, let's do 775. That'll work. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And then again, range. We'll just take it out further. Fall off. Uh, not really sure what that changed. The volume will change this right here. Um, I would probably keep that at like a 0 0.06. Volume size. Um, again, I would keep that at default. Extra light. I would keep that at default. Corona intensity. Uh, not really seeing what that changes. And then you got corona size. Uh, which... I don't know what that's changing. Either. Then you got like cast shadows, which is pretty cool. See that? If you click it, it removes the shadows. Keep that on for sure. It looks way better. Uh, volume. There you can see it gets rid of the that, but you don't want to do that. Uh, corona. And specular. See how that it does that? I would keep that on as well. And you could change the color hues, but I wouldn't mess with any of that. Right? So... That is how you um, do the offsets and change the settings. Now, there we go. We have our spotlight. Now, here comes a cool feature. Let's go see if we can find somebody walking, right? So, let's say we're coming up in this guy right here. Uh, so, let's see if we can get this guy to walk. Usually they do it if you... Come on, brother. Alright, so there he goes. So now he's walking, right? Let's say he's our perp and we want to just follow him. We got the spotlight. If we hit our number pad 3, look at that. It's going to track him. Right? So no matter where he goes, your spotlight is automatically going to track him. How amazing is that all right and then you just hit three and it'll stop tracking all right bring your spotlight back and take it down now let's say there's a vehicle all right this vehicle right here 
Let's turn our spotlight on. And all of a sudden, you're in a pursuit. You can hit your three, and it's now tracking that vehicle. Plate number and everything. So wherever that vehicle goes, if you're in a pursuit, it's going to follow that vehicle, right? Let's go ahead and pull him over. I'm telling you, the spotlight mod is absolutely amazing. And that's it. And then you can hit the three, and you can just put the spotlight wherever you want it, you know, so you can shine it right through the back window, drop it down, you know. Then you have your takedowns on your vehicle, too, but the spotlight's super cool. Um, let's go ahead and tell you can go. You know, and like I said... You're looking for a suspect. You're driving down these dark roads. You got that spotlight going. And it, it'll just beam through these backyards like that. Look at that. And you can look for your, your, your suspect, your vehicle. Whatever it is you are looking for, you could do it manually with the spotlight. And F9 to shut it off. So that is going to be it, folks. I really hope you enjoy this mod. Put it in your game. I promise you, you are absolutely going to love it. Look at these guys over here. So, hit F9. We're going to look. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit my panic button. So, there's our guys right there. So, yeah, we just light them up. Let me see. Can I get rid of these guys? Yeah, okay. We got it. So, yeah, that is it. Listen, put this in your game. I promise you, you will not regret it. 100%, you will not regret it. Um, if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. Show your boys some love. Hit that like or the dislike. As long as you give me some sort of feedback. Only thing I ask is if you hit the dislike, let me know why so I can make this channel better for your viewing, for your viewing pleasure. And if you subscribe, ring that bell so you know new tutorials, live streams, patrols, giveaways, vlogs, meet the gamers, all of it. Listen, we do a lot here on Jeffrey Gamer. You don't want to miss any of it. Hit that bell if you subscribe. All right, until next time, everybody. Love you all so much. Be safe. Be healthy. Be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is out. Later, y'all.